morning everyone. So today's workout, we are going to kill shoulders. We're going to train them heavy, really heavy. So uh, something a little different, got to shock the body, uh, confuse the body, right? Right on. So we're going to start with shoulder presses and I want you guys to warm up and work up to your heaviest set for eight to 10 reps. So slowly warm up, pyramid up in weight to get to a weight that's you know good for eight to 10 reps. Then we're going to do five sets of eight to 10 reps uh, with the heaviest weight you can do struggling to get between eight and 10 reps. So it's going to be some heavy ass weight. All right. So five sets there. Then we're going to go on to side dumbbell laterals, which is my favorite shoulder exercise. Um, there's nothing better for making your shoulders wide, giving that V taper look. I think side delts are, is the most uh, important piece of the delt. You have the front, the sides and the rears. And the side is what gives you that width, you know, and makes you have that crazy V taper. So uh, you can't neglect the side delts. And uh, I don't think you can do too much for side delts, to be honest, because fronts are always worked when you're training chest. Rears are always worked when you're training back. So your front and rear delts are getting a lot of work from chest and back work. So your side delts, not so. So uh, you can never overtrain side delts, in my opinion. Side delts can never be too big. So side delts, here we go. Same thing, we're gonna pyramid up to eight to 10 reps. We're gonna do five sets of eight to 10 reps. And I want you guys to be struggling, you know, to get that eight, nine, or 10th rep, struggling. So it's some heavy ass weight, but try to keep your form. If you lose form, you're gonna be hitting your traps, you know, or possibly your rear delts if you lean too far forward. So try to keep that form, very important, but heavy ass weight. All right, third exercise is gonna be bent over dumbbell laterals for rear delts. And the reason we're going to do them standing bent over is, you know, you can really go heavy on that one. When you're bent over, you get a little bit of a swing. You can really go heavy and squeeze them at the top, get a good rear delt pump. So uh, very important to keep that form. You don't want to turn into a row. You want to come out with it. And uh, same thing, eight to 10 reps. This is only going to be four sets for the rear delts. So uh, pyramid up in weight to you get to a weight that's good for eight reps and fucking kill it. All right, the last exercise is shrugs. And uh, you know, I like, to show, I like to throw traps in with shoulders. Sometimes I throw them in with back, um, but I prefer to throw them in with shoulders, uh, especially right after rear delts. Your traps are already pre-pumped, worked a little bit, and ready to tear them up. So we're gonna do straight bar shrugs, either Smith machine, free weights, and uh, you're gonna pyramid up in weight, and you're gonna do a heavy ass set 10 to 12 reps. So a little bit higher reps, but not much on the shrugs, but you know, 10 to 12 reps, we're talking a lot of weight. You know, I usually don't ever go under 20 reps on shrugs. I usually start with 40 and all the way down to 20 and never go less than 20 reps. Um, so doing a weight for only 10 to 12 reps is some serious heavy weight. Uh, just make sure you get all the way up to the top, squeeze it on top. You know, don't just do a little bounce. It's not gonna do anything. You gotta go all the way up to the ears, squeeze it, let it down, stretch it all the way to the bottom. Gotta work those traps right. You know, a lot of people try to go too heavy and they're just fucking bouncing up and down and not really working the traps, using their whole body, you know, to bounce that weight. So very important is form on shrugs. So get that form right. You do need to go heavy, but you need to have good form. So you gotta find that even medium uh, that a lot of people can't find. You know, it's not about the weight, it's about the feel the contraction, the squeeze, and the pump, and the burn. Whatever muscle you're training, you should be, that motherfucker should be burning and hurting. When you drop the weight, you should be in pain. Fucking idiot! If not, you're going too heavy, man. Lighten the weight and make that muscle fucking burn. So anyway, guys, that's it for the workout today. I know you guys are good. I know you guys are gonna keep doing the fucking vacuums, the feeders, the stretching, the cardio, the fucking eating, everything. You know, keep on top of every fucking thing. Do not leave anything out. Um, it's a short time. It's a goal we have in mind. We're going to keep pushing forward to that goal. And uh, at the end of that three months, you want to look back and go, fuck, man, I did everything possible and look what I ended up. This is fucking awesome. You know, you, you don't want to look back and be like, fuck, why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do that? You know, I should have been doing more vacuums. I should have been doing feeder workouts. Why didn't I keep up with my meals? You know, you don't want to look back and, and realize that you failed. You want to look back and go, fuck, I did that shit for three months straight and didn't fuck up once. So that's the goal, guys, get in the best shape of our life. And uh, that's the plan. And that's what I'm doing. I hope you guys are doing that. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you have a great fucking day.